Match resident family. My name is Paula Sunwa Jr. I am a CA2 PGY3 here at University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences uh, in Little Rock, Arkansas. So today I'm going to be talking about my reflection of how my CA1 year went, how we got to CA1, and where we are now in the CA2 year. So, you know, anesthesiology is one of those specialties that is a team effort. It's one of those specialties that integrates all disciplines of medicine into one. So I began my residency in 2021 um, with my PGY one year, starting off in surgery, uh, it was pediatric surgery. And in your PGY one year, uh, for anesthesiologists across America, if you're gonna do a specialty or a residency in anesthesiology, you will either do a transitional year, you will either do a IM prelim year, you will either do a surgery prelim year, or you'll have an integrated program like the one I'm in now, and they will integrate your first year with various specialties um, to get you acquainted for your CA one year. So I'm in a categorical program, so we had uh, you know, all specialties integrated. And you know I did two uh, months of general surgery, one was peds, one, one, one was adult. Uh, two months of ER, one was peds, one was adult. Um, I did a month of uh, surgical ICU, I did two months of regular ICU, and then other specialties you know, kind of combined in. So at the end of my PGY one year, we did what was called a boot camp, and this was integrating us into the OR, just to get us integrated with common things. Um, you know, this is the ventilator, this is the bed, um, these are common medications we use, etomidate, propofol, uh, vasopressin, uh, phenylephrine, uh, norepinephrine, epinephrine, kind of just getting us acquainted to how the OR works so that when July comes around, it's not a surprise that you can, oh, that, you know we are in our CA one year, and now we have to perform as a resident you know anesthesiologist. So currently I'm in my CA two year. I've completed my CA one year, and with all things that you do in life, there are you know the highs, and then there are also the lows. You know, with everything there's a learning process. With everything there's a learning curve. You have to learn the knowledge of what you're going into, which is you know the cerebral portion, you know, knowing things, and then you have to also know the technical things, you know, putting in a central line, you know, putting in an endotracheal tube safely, doing nasal intubations, different various forms of, of airway techniques, you know, just, you know, bringing the patient from the stretcher to the OR bed, you know, how to hook up certain medications. So my CA one year was, you know, for every of my colleagues, was a year whereby we had to learn functions, you know. Your, your PGY one year was a year to establish all the fundamentals you learned in medical school and tie that in and quote unquote become a doctor. The PGY one year, you learn how to diagnose like a physician, not like a medical student. You learn to diagnose like a physician, you learn to treat like a physician, and you learn how to act like a physician in the patient scenario. So that year is very vital because it gets you ready to bring all those in and function as a physician anesthesiologist in the OR. So going into the OR, my CA one year, um, you know, I had various, you know, highs and lows. You know, I went through obstetric anesthesia and that was very fun because I was able to, you know, put epidurals in for expecting moms, do spinals, you know, spinal anesthesia for expecting moms and just seeing pain ameliorated you know, on the onset while, you know, you have a laboring mom that wants to, you know, give birth. It, you know, it's very satisfying. It kind of re-emphasized, you know, the reason why I went into anesthesiology. And that's, you know, some of the high points. Or, you know, when I was in the case and you're having difficulty, you know, bringing a patient's blood pressure up or bringing SATs up. And for example, if I were to give a recruitment Beth and then their SATs popped up to 100%, or if they were very hypotensive and I gave some calcium and I gave some phenylephrine and those two things were able to you know, maintain my patient's blood pressure while trying to find the end cause of the reason for their hypotension, kind of you know, gave me that reinforcement like, okay, I'm able to stabilize a certain condition. Now I'm able to buy some time in order to get to the root cause of what is causing their hypotension uh, interop. I would say one of the most things that I learned, you know, yet again, I was a college athlete, you know, I was a D1 track athlete, I threw the shot put at Texas Christian University. Um, in high school, I played football, I did track, played soccer, 
But one of the things that I learned in my CA one year is teamwork. And it's not only teamwork in terms of a sport, but you're dealing with human lives here. And everyone in the OR is integral from the scrub tech to the circulator nurse, to the scrub nurse, to you, the anesthesiologist, to the CRNA who's gonna, you know, come in the room and give you a break or assist you with what you need in the case, to even the janitor who's gonna, you know, turn the room over for you because you need to bring a patient in for the, for the second case. Um, so your CA one year really teaches you how to function in a collaborative team whereby everyone has an essential part to make your job feasible, okay? Um, two, it also showed you that, you know, every integral part, you know, whether it's engineering, mechanics, um, you know, from the, the blood bank, everyone has an integral part that makes, you know, the surgical scene, the OR, the anesthesia field to progress, and one could not work without the other. Um, so that's, you know, offside of just, you know, being a doctor, just the technicalities of being in the OR and just doing your job as an anesthesiologist. Um, now that I transitioned, now I'm currently in my CA, CA two year, I was able to bring the things that I learned in my CA one year and bring them into my CA two year, because in your CA two year, you have to function as a team leader. Pretty much you're a mini attending whereby you're helping to run rooms, staff rooms, assign CRNAs to certain places, assign residents to certain places, even helping to assign attendings to certain places. And it really brought that foundation and made it concrete um, that everyone has an integral part. And you know, seeing a patient not you know as you know everyone else, but every patient is specific. One, what works for patient A might not work for patient B. And um, anesthesia is not a uh, peanut butter jelly sandwich. It's very custom made for each patient. Um, so if you're wanting to go into anesthesia, I would highly suggest that your CA1 year is the year that you will use to become a great anesthesiologist. You will learn the most in your CA1 year. And as one of my attendings told me, you will also learn the most in your first year of being an attendant. So, you know, I got approximately one and a half years, 20 months to get to that level. Um, and I expect that I'm gonna learn a lot in that first attending year, but that's my reflection as a CA one year. I'm very fortunate to have gone through the process. Many hills, you know, many valleys, you know, dealing with intraoperative deaths. Um, having to, you know, provide anesthesia to someone who is having a DNC that just, you know, miscarried. Um, it kind of tugs at your heart and brings in the humanistic being of medicine and just being a human being and putting that doctor hat aside. So this is my reflection as a CA1 um, in anesthesia and currently a CA2. Hopefully you're able to take some part of what I've been able to, you know, explain to you in this video. And thank you for watching and uh, good luck to everyone who's matching and good luck to everyone who's applying to the field of anesthesia and any other field that you apply to. Thank you.